Hi guys, I just want to show you a quick fix for a problem I come across occasionally with uh, my highs projects. And uh, well, let's start by opening highs. So I'm just going to load up a project, and I've been working on this project for quite a while, um, about a week or so. So I'm going to open it up, and it's still loading. There we go. And over here we have some errors. Component with name PNL X. PL, uh, EXP list wasn't found and it's, it's giving me some errors and my interface is blank and my component list is blank and it looks like everything that I've been working on is just gone forever. Now this problem's come up a few times to me and I always make sure when I'm working on my projects that I use this save as XML option. I use the save archive as well just out of habit I press Control S and that uses the sa save archive but I always make sure that I save as XML and I encourage you to do it as well because it's much easier to um, solve these kind of problems if you've saved it as XML. If you have saved it as an archive, you can try this option here, which is create recovery XML from HIP, which will um, take the archive file, the .hip file, and try and convert it to an XML version. But I, I recommend you always save it as XML anyway. So let's um, close this then. So we can see there's a problem here. And because I've saved as XML, we can have a look at the XML. So this is the project folder. And if I go to XML preset backups, we have the XML file here for the project. And this is um, th th this is the actual, um, well, let's have a look. This is the actual project's XML. So that's got all the data in there about um, like um, what modules I'm using, what effects, what scripts and stuff like that. But since this came up with a problem with the GUI, I'm actually going to go into this folder here, which has the GUI data also as an XML. And I'm guessing that we're going to find the problem is in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy all of this. I'm going to open my web browser. And I'm just going to type in XML validator. And we'll open this one, xmlvalidation.com. I'm just going to paste in the contents of that file and click validate. And it's come up here with an error on line 127. It doesn't really matter what the message says there. I'm just noticing that it's on line 127. So if I go back to my text editor and go down to 127, this text editor actually shows me what the error is. Um, but in, in some cases, you'll have to try and work it out. But we can see that there's... Um, an uh, XML tag here that doesn't make sense because it's just got an equal sign and then a value. It doesn't actually have a name for the value. So this occasionally happens that the um, GUI data gets screwed up like this um, for, for a, one or two components, especially if you're moving components around between different panels. Like if you've got a lot of components inside a panel and then perhaps you move one to another panel and then maybe move it again or you delete a component. Sometimes these little bits of data get left over and that's what causes the error. So all I'm going to do is delete that and I'm going to save this XML file again and I can close that now. And if I open the project again, hopefully it will just load without any issue. There we go. Took a little while to load there because it's uh, quite a complex script. But um, so that fixed the problem. That error message is gone and my GUI is back. All right, guys, I hope that little tip helped you out. The XML validator is really useful for finding these little bugs quickly. And it works not only on the GUI data, but also on the uh, project XML file if you ever need to um, debug anything in there as well. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.